In this video, we're going to go over how to use the CoolPad Legacy for beginners. Hey guys, thanks again for joining us. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button down below. If you find the video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below as well. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So in this video, we're again, we're gonna be going over how to use the CoolPad Legacy for beginners. If this is your first time using uh, a CoolPad phone, uh, this should be a helpful tutorial. We're just gonna go over the basics of this phone. Everything from the buttons to navigating the phone to kind of moving things around on your home screen. So. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. So we always like to start with just going over all the buttons. So you do have on the right side, volume up, volume down. There we go, easier to see it from this angle. Volume up, volume down, and a power button right here. And obviously like volume up, volume down, those control the phone volume. But if you do hold down volume up, this is how you put the phone on mute. So hold it, we tap this. If you see the bell, it means it's on, on sound mode. Tap it again, vibrate, tap it again. It's on total mute. And now it's back on volume and you can use this to control uh, the volume of music or uh, anything that you're playing on the screen. So there's that. Power button right here, obviously press it, turn it off, press it, turn it back on. You swipe up to get through to the main screen. You can also hold this button to get a different menu. And this will bring up powering off the phone, restarting the phone, and taking a screenshot. So you do can do three different things just by holding down that button for one second. On the left side of the phone, you will find your, um, this is your what's called your SIM tray. You see that little, little black hole right there? Now this is where you would uh, insert your memory card. Um, so first you would insert your SIM card and you can also insert your memory card as well. So um, just to give you an example, if you want to expand the storage, maybe you're coming from another phone that, that had a memory card in it, you can put that memory card in right here. So in the box of your phone, you'll have one of these called a SIM tool and you just insert it in a little hole and push and that's going to take out the sim tray the big one is for the memory card and the small one is for the sim card which actually is the all your phone information the uh, data information so there's that all right so now basic navigation so on the screen here you're going to see three buttons on the bottom home button recent apps and then you will have a back button right here and really simple, if you ever open an app and you wanna get back to your main screen, just go ahead and hit that circle in the middle. That always takes you back to home. This button right here will always show you uh, any apps that are currently running on the phone. So I just opened Chrome and that's why you see that there. If I were to tap on um, the call app, for example, and then close it, and I go back to recent apps, it'll show up as one of the apps here. So these are again all the apps that I have opened that are still running on the phone. If I want to close an app, I just go ahead and swipe and that's how I stop it from running. You can also swipe down and come up to the corner here and tap on clear all and that's going to get rid of uh, all the apps. So now there's no apps that are currently running on the phone. This is a back button. It always takes you back one step just to show you how that works. If we go to the, the Play Store, which is where you download apps. Uh, maybe let's not do that one because that one's updating. Uh, let's say we go to the settings and maybe you tapped on storage and you want to get back to the main menu of settings. All you have to do is just hit this button. It'll take you back one step. If we tap it again, it'll take us out of the app altogether. So all it does again is just take you back one step if I were to go again to security, and then I went to screen lock, I could just go back one step, back again, and then it would take me out of the app, just like that. So that's what the back button does. Now, next, we do have um, the section where you find all your apps. If you'll notice you have some apps on this page, some apps on this page, but all of your apps are gonna be in the uh, what's called the app drawer and to get there you're just gonna swipe up 
and that's where you're gonna see every single app that is installed on the phone. And if, you, if you're having trouble finding a specific app, you can just tap up here and you can do a search for it and that will help you find the app, just like that. So that's where all your apps are. Again, it's only when you're on this main screen do you just swipe up and there are all your apps, just like that. If you wanted to move an app from there to this screen, you find the app, Google Photos, I'm gonna hold down on it and I'm gonna drag it, I'm gonna drag it down and now I can let it go and put it right on my home screen like that. Just show you one more time, Google One, put your finger on it but don't pick your finger up, just keep your finger on it and drag down and now you can place it where you want on your home screen. So that's how you would move certain apps to the home screen if you wanna see them every time you unlock your phone, okay? Now, what if you wanna get rid of an app that's on this screen? Well, same thing, hold down the app. Sorry, one more time. Hold down the app and drag up and just go to remove and that'll take it off of the main screen. Now, certain apps, the phone will only let you take it off of this screen. That's, for example, Google One is an app that's pre-installed on the phone, so I can't uninstall, I can't totally delete the app. I can just take it off of this screen. But Netflix, I can actually like remove it off of the phone altogether by doing the same thing, holding down, dragging up, and I have remove, and there's also an uninstall option. If I go to uninstall, it's gonna actually take it off of the phone altogether. So this is how you remove an app that you don't want to be on the phone anymore. Just drag it up here and let it go. And now Netflix is gone, or I could hit okay, and then it would be totally gone. Let's press okay, and Netflix will disappear. So that's kind of how you move apps on and off the phone and from your app drawer to here. You can also drag apps to other pages as well. So I can hold down on an app here and instead of dragging up, I could drag to the right and that's how I take it to a screen, you know, to the right or to the left by doing that. Now, if you swipe up to the right on the home screen, it will take you to Google Now. And this will show you uh, relevant information based on how you search Google on the phone. So. If you ever search for a sports team, it'll give you articles about the team or it might show you if they have a game today. If you search for a certain store, it'll show you news about that store and all kind of other cool things. So this normally populates based upon what you search in Google. And right now there's nothing because I haven't searched anything on the phone. If I tap on the little Metro logo right here, it will show um, a cool section on Metro phones where you can watch videos. I believe it's called Metro Play. And you can go through here and just watch uh, all kind of free videos. It's Think of it like a YouTube, but it's like Metro's version of that. So this is a cool place when you've got free time and you just want something to look at, you can go through here and, you know, watch a video. If I want to go back to the main screen, I just hit that circle again, and now I'm back to home. The uh, next thing I want to go over is what's called the notification panel. So by swiping down from the top, it'll bring up this menu right here. And this menu, uh, you have what are called switches. These control uh, different functions on the phone. So for example, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your uh, battery and power saving mode, the screen rotating, do not disturb, flashlight. You can then drag down again, so just swipe down, and it'll show you even more options. So airplane mode, location, SIM, you can swipe left. You'll have more options, screenshot, hotspot. These are all shortcuts to, again, just different functions you would use on the phone. Up here is the brightness control, so I can use this to control how bright or dark the screen is, depending on your eyes and what works best for you. So that's that. If you tap on this little pencil down here, you can actually move these icons around and put them in the order that fits you better. Sometimes I like to move the flashlight up to the, to the very top. And I like to move the hotspot to a higher spot as well because I tend to use hotspot a lot. So now when I go back, the first five that show up or first six 
are going to be always the first six that I see whenever I swipe down from the top. So that's why I like to have the flashlight here because if I ever am in the dark, I always know how to get to my flashlight because it's always the first option at the top. Just like that. All right, and below here you'll find different notifications based on what apps you have downloaded on the phone and also based on what email addresses you have. You'll see text messages, you'll see news. It's, it's all based on apps that you've downloaded. So this is kind of the control center that shows you all the messages that are coming through and all the notifications that come through the different uh, apps. And apps is short for applications. Very similar to a computer, how computers have applications, phones just have apps. When you've read a message and you don't want it to be here anymore, you just uh, swipe right and it goes away. If you have a lot in here, you can just tap clear all and that'll get rid of everything. So that is your notification panel. Um, I didn't really touch on this too much, but the back, this is your fingerprint scanner. This is how you unlock the phone. Uh, to set that up, you will need to go to the settings. So settings. And then you would go down to security. And then we're going to go to uh, fingerprint. And this is where you would actually set up using the fingerprint scanner. You tap next. You have to choose a password first because there's always going to be a backup password in the event your fingerprint is not working to unlock the phone. So you set that and then you just take your finger and you just tap until it uh, basically stores your fingerprint and then after that when the screen is off all you do is just tap and it automatically unlock the phone for you so that is that you can also set up a face unlock as well so whenever you bring the phone up to your face it will automatically read your face and unlock the phone as well I love this feature in fact um, I normally set up both I'll have the fingerprint scanner set up and I'll have this set up so um, it just makes it easier to just unlock the phone because you just bring it up to your face and it unlocks and you're good. So you would just tap on face unlock and you would do the setup for that. All right, guys, we are almost done. Hope this is all helpful information. Again, this is for kind of new users. Um, I will have a little link as well up at the up at the top right corner that will also have a playlist for other cool Pad Legacy videos. So after you've sort of learned the basics and you want to learn more, check out some of our other videos as well. All right, so the, the last thing I wanted to show you is basically the camera. So this is the camera icon right here. And you just tap that, take a picture. For video, you tap video, it's right next to it. Or you can swipe over that's how you kind of scroll between the, the, the camcorder or video and taking pictures and once you take a picture that picture is stored in an app called Google Photos Google Photos is your gallery app so if we tap on that this is where you'll see any picture that you've taken on the phone so there's that picture I just took right there. Now, just as, as a disclaimer, uh, there are other apps to use as your gallery. I'm not a huge fan of Google Photos. So uh, if you want a different gallery app, uh, check out that playlist that's gonna be in the right corner of the screen. Um, I have a video on another gallery app you can download that works a little bit better than this one, just as an FYI. So, But that's where you'll find pictures after you take them. And that's about it guys um, again our purpose in the video was just to do a very basic beginner walkthrough and this is for anyone who is new to smartphones or um, anyone who is new to this phone in particular and was having trouble navigating it. we just wanted to make sure we went over all the basic things that you would need to know uh, one last thing that I will show you if you swipe down from the top these notification switches so there, I explained that they were shortcuts to different things on the phone. Um, and just an example for Wi-Fi, if you wanted to connect to your home Wi-Fi, you would swipe down and you hold down on that icon 
and it will take you to the Wi-Fi section of the phone and that's where you can connect to your your network so that's how you get to the Wi-Fi menu that's the shortcut there if I hold down the, on the Bluetooth icon as well it'll take me right to the Bluetooth section where I can connect to a new Bluetooth device so they're really cool shortcuts that just take you right to that place in the settings to save you some time so I wanted to make sure I went over that as well I hope you guys did find this video helpful uh, do us a favor and leave us a comment down below if you did find the video helpful hit that like button as well and make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell to turn on post notifications so you can get alerted every time we post new videos thanks again for watching guys take care and as always have a good one